Yo guys, it's up the Soulfly. Welcome back to the newest video. First off, I want to say that I know I look like a mess. I'm kind of breaking out a little bit from working out and everything, you know. It happens. But I'm also going to be rustling a little bit. I should probably take this off in hindsight because it's going to be loud. Okay, let's go in there. Also, I have a lamp back there, and if there's any shadows, it's kind of behind my setup. So, I mean, we're just going to point out all the faults as soon as the video starts. I honestly don't know how to start this. It's... A year in review. I'm going to try to make this one of my best videos possible. I'll probably be looking down and around a lot because I'm literally saying this off the top of my head to be as honest as I can. Not saying that anything else isn't honest, but see, I'm already overthinking it. It's 2018. This is it. This is the start of a new year. And hopefully everything worked out to where I can get this out on the first. But in this video, I'm going to talk about a lot of things that happened over the last year. Now, my memory seems to fail me a lot, honestly, except for the things that really stick out. So, 2017, starting off, was the year... Basically, this time last year was Christmas break. I was still in high school, a senior, about to graduate, a couple months away. And I was thinking about, it'll be a while, you know, it'll be fine. Graduation is months away. What could possibly happen? And before I knew it, it was practice day. We were all dressed up, getting ready to say our final goodbyes to people we didn't know if we would ever see again. We try not to get emotional because it's I'm just thinking about everything and it's kind of bringing stuff back. Also gonna move this a little bit. Okay, I'm more centered up, so. I guess I should kind of do a bit of a summary of me, considering I haven't really done one. My very first video ever was Who is Soulified? I'm sure some of you people have seen it. If you haven't, be sure to check that out and then come watch some of my recent videos. You'll be able to see a difference, I hope, at least. This video is going to be very blunt. Very straight to the point. More for me and holding myself accountable. There's a lot of things that I fail at that I talk about a lot and I don't deliver. And that's one of the things I'm working on in 2018. A lot of people have New Year's resolutions. It's more of a People want a fresh start in 2018, so I might as well kind of ride along with it and kind of press what I've been doing more. It's kind of a starting point for an upgrade. Also, lips have been very chapped, so chapstick's gonna be a must through this video. If this happens to be the very first video you're seeing from me, I guess I better do an introduction. First off, my name is Tyler, or Solified, that's what people call me, and uh, I'm 19 years old. I do YouTube part-time. I, I do a lot of things part-time. I'm kind of a jack-of-all-trades. I've been a designer for majority of my life, probably like five, six years. What, I'm 19? Almost half my life? That's crazy. But yeah, I've been designing a lot of my work. If I sit down and put time into something, it'll show that I've been doing this for a while. If I just kind of, you know, meh, then it'll be meh. I edit my videos and stuff, of course. Everything you see on my channel is made by me. My starting on YouTube goes back a couple of years. Early 2012, late 2011, around that time. So, I used to play Assassin's Creed and I would use the video editor built in YouTube to make content for people to watch. I would literally take other YouTube videos, cut them up, add them together, and in the end I would have something like a compilation with some random royalty free music that sounded terrible. It was bad. Very bad. And before I knew that you could make money on YouTube, I just did this for fun. Still do it for fun. If I didn't, then I probably wouldn't be doing this. I had a random spurt of you know, it's the day before New Year's, and I kind of want to make this and have it forever, so might as well do it. Whenever I uploaded those first videos, you can't find them anywhere, thankfully now, but whenever I first started uploading YouTube videos, I freaked out every time a number went up. The fact that one person took any amount of time to put into my video, I it still blows my mind that I've gotten like 40,000 views total on my channel. That's like... 40,000 people at least or some people that have put a little extra time into my video from that I just off and on did YouTube found things like Call of Duty things I've done pretty much every day I play video games I fell in love with it I played Nintendo 64 and Atari and stuff I played video games my entire life the old Game Boys the one without the backlight so you have to have a light shining down the countless nights staying up in bed past whenever my mom would tell me to go to sleep so I can try to get a Pokemon to evolve Man, I'm a nerd. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little introduction to me, and I'm going to get into my 2017. Like I said, start off this time last year being a senior, about to graduate, and not sureing where, not sureing, 
Still can't English even after graduation. Not sure where life was gonna take me. It's weird when you're a senior. A lot of people that are probably underclassmen that are watching this or some graduates or college students watching this, I'm sure you guys understand. You think it's gonna be there forever. It's what you've been doing the majority of your life if you're still in school. So you kind of just, that's what it is. Monday through Friday, you go to school and then on the weekends you have it off and then <laughs> it starts all over again and you're wondering why am I still doing this but it's the only thing I've ever done for my entire life. You kind of fall into the routine and the routine sucks, I know, but you kind of cling on to it and then once you graduate, it's, it's gone. Is gone. I always default back to appreciate the people that are around you while you can because luckily for me I'm still in my hometown at the moment hopefully about to branch out kind of falling back into another routine hopefully 2018 it's going to be more productive year we'll have to see there's a lot of people in my town that know what I do and there's a lot of people on the internet that know what I do and I don't know sometimes honestly like I said to be blunt I don't know what I'm doing I'm just doing this. 19 year old kid, no job experience, still no car, have a computer that's wanting to go into sleep mode. <laughs> the normal nerd. And I've kind of sat here. And as I say this, you know, I'm listening to myself too. Like I said, it's gonna be blunt, this is gonna be ups and downs. It's my year in review. All the high points, all the low points. I was 18, about to graduate, thinking life's gonna be great, everything's gonna be sweet. Graduation comes. And the people around you that you've known your entire life, if you've lived in the same spot, I have for the majority of my life, so the people around you that you knew in elementary school, through middle school, through high school, became friends with, and stopped talking to, and had all the drama with, it's, it's it. Once you reach that moment, when you're sitting there in your caps and gowns, you have that moment of, none of that matters, we're here now. This is it the moment we've been waiting for for a good chunk of our life. Though we don't know what's going on through the entire ride of life, we know that the thing we've known the most is about to change. I sat with a group of some of the people that I've known probably the shortest amount of time, but had the greatest connection with. Thankfully for me, I had an English class with probably about 10 people in there. It was a very small class and we all really got to know each other. That ended up being one of my favorite classes. Throughout the entirety of high school, I really changed. Once I went in as a freshman, I was in band, left that, got into a Spanish class. Don't ask me to speak Spanish. It's not gonna, <laughs> it's not gonna go over well. And then I ended up joining choir and then later on select choir. And through all of that, got a massive amount of support through a small group of friends that I still cherish to this day. Graduation does really tie that all into perspective. You know that stuff's coming to an end, but it's also a new beginning. During my senior year of class, I started a design class that would be half days. So from about morning up until lunchtime, I would be going to this class to learn all these design techniques and everything that I had pretty much been doing freelance for years and now learning the more technical side of it. So I both started and ended my first year of that and now as a graduate I am attending in pretty soon wrapping up my second year. Through that I gained a lot of friends and that also kicked up to the time whenever I was starting my vlogs so yeah a lot of great friends a lot of great memories and stuff that I can still look back on today. And one of my friends is calling me. That was you seen he was in one of my last videos definitely up there on great people. A couple days before graduation, I got a graduation present from my dad. And some of you guys may know my dad hasn't always been there in my life. It's the story of, you know, parents divorcing and everything. I try not to get too much into it, but my dad in the past years has been more prominent in my life and I'm really thankful for that. People go through their ups and downs, adults are big kids, so you know, we're all learning. But I got a graduation present from my dad and it was a trip to Las Vegas. A place that I've always wanted to go to, never thought I would ever make it to, and ended up going and recording some videos, of course. Even though he hated it because I was wanting to edit videos and do stuff while we were in Las Vegas. He was just telling me to enjoy it, and thankfully, I put the camera down a little bit. Kind of stacked up on footage, that way I'd have something to edit later. So, graduation, Las Vegas, finishing my first year of design class, and then we get to some. Haven't done much, I'm supposed to be getting a job within the next couple of months. It's kind of one of those things of... To be blunt and honest, I I don't know. I don't know why I don't do it. I don't know why I haven't got my driver's license or why I haven't pressed YouTube more. There's a lot of questions that I just don't know the answer to and mentally it's just like, I don't know, I static? 
I guess, is what you would call it. Whenever I th someone tells me to get a job, it's like, I know I should have a job, I know I should want to have a job, I don't have one. Or whenever it comes to me getting my license, I don't really have to go anywhere, so I just kind of sit and do my own thing. But then again, when I sit and want to do my own thing like YouTube, it's hard. I don't... There's like a, not a drive, but I don't feel a drive for anything because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Like I said, this video is going to be all over the place. My year went from graduation to design school, Las Vegas, not knowing what I'm going to do, and then kicking up and working out. And as of today, that's actually what Yasin was calling me to do was to go work out at 6. And it's 5.30 right now and I got to do all this video and stuff and edit all these and get it out before tomorrow. So I'm probably going to go later. As of today, I have worked out almost 170 days in a row. Lost a good amount of weight. I'm not sure the exact numbers because fat turns into muscle and as the numbers fluctuate, muscle's heavier than fat. So you can't really pay attention to the number. I'm not gonna get too far into that. I've slimmed down a little bit. I don't know. I can't I can't tell a difference that much, honestly. Made it a part of my routine and did it every day. I guess I can make a video about that if you guys want me to talk about it. Like what kept me motivated. I've had a lot of people reach out to me on Snapchat and ask because I usually post a story whenever I'm in the gym. Keep myself accountable. I started out this year never thinking I was ever going to touch a gym and then started working. 170 days in a row. Thankfully, a group of people decided to start a gym in my town, so got a membership to that, thankfully. For, through the help of my great-grandmother, she gave me that for Christmas, so I'm extremely thankful for that. Can't wait to see where it takes me in the next couple months. A lot of things have changed. A lot of things. Some big, some small, some things that I haven't done yet that I need to do. It's all just a matter of time. This video's been all over the place, like I said. I bragged on myself. I brought myself up. I'm pretty proud of what I've done. I made it through the years of high school. I started working out, never thought I'd ever touch that. I'm trying YouTube a little more, trying to come up with ideas, but this is it. It feels like another moment of things are about to change. Now, whether they do or not is yet to be seen, but this is gonna be a staple point to come back to at the start of 2019 in a year. Hopefully this time next year, a lot of things have changed and I'm going to make sure they do. I want to be able to look back at this video in a year and know that I made that change. So this is it. Here is the 2018.